Hello everyone. Welcome back. In today's video, we'll clarify difference between throw and throws, so let's get started. Let's understand throw first. In this example, we declare a method named validateAge. The method's purpose is to validate the age and ensure it's 18 or older. It uses an if statement to check the condition. If age is less than 18, throw new illegal argument exception throws an exception to indicate a problem with the message age must be 18 or older. This signals an invalid argument being passed to the method. So the purpose of throw is to explicitly create and throw an exception within a method or block of code. It is used inside a method or block of code, but please remember it can throw only one exception at a time. The throw keyword can only propagate unchecked exceptions, meaning that checked exceptions cannot be propagated with throw. Let's understand throws. In this example, we declare a method named readFile that takes a string parameter named filename. The method purpose is to read the contents of a file specified by the filename. It also declares that it might throw two types of exceptions, file not found exception and IO exception. The throws clause informs the caller of the method that it has the potential to throw these exceptions. This means the caller must handle them using try-catch blocks or propagate them further. So the purpose of throws is to declare the potential exceptions that a method might throw, informing the caller about potential issues. And it is used in the method signature. Friends, throws can declare multiple exceptions at a time. Please remember the throws keyword can be used to declare both checked and unchecked exceptions. For checked exceptions, the throws keyword must be followed by the specific name of the exception class. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SQL Server tutorials and tips.